Fox 4 News obtained a Dallas City audit that raises questions about oversight of City Council spending. The audit looked at charges on government-issued credit cards for the four City Council members whose terms ended last June. It found a lack of documentation involving $14,000 worth of tickets and food purchases. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us live in Dallas with the audit results. Lori. The audit was triggered automatically when those council members lost their reelection bids. The audit examined expenses during the time period in which they lost their reelection bids. Dallas taxpayers paid for it, but for what purpose is not clear. $14,755 worth of tickets and catered meals. The money bought hundreds of tickets to Bahama Beach Water Park, the State Fair, the Dallas Zoo, and even skate party packages. The expenses seemed fishy to the Dallas auditor, who noted in his report that the city continues to have difficulties consistently following appropriate procedures. That's where you want to track these guys. Down SMU political people. science professor Cal Gilson yeah, says one reason why the accounting is so important is to avoid the appearance of using public money to get votes. The problem seems to be that there's not specific enough records about the public purposes, the Dallas city purposes that were accomplished by these, uh, these uh, uh, trips to the, uh, the fair or to a water park. The four ex-council members in the audit are Monica Alonzo, Carolyn King Arnold, Eric Wilson, and Tiffany Young. Jilson says the city's policies don't seem to be the problem. It looks to me as if Dallas has plenty of rules. They're specific enough. It's that the city council members don't always uh, provide all the information that is required. The auditor recommended that the city manager, T.C. Broadnax, make sure elected officials are following the rules. The city manager's office agreed. Since the audit, city staff members have also received extensive training about the city's required oversight of tax dollars. So you feel like the city manager should ask for these questionable expenses to be repaid? Yes, absolutely. The city manager would first ask for the documentary detail to say where these expenses should be charged. If the city owes the money, that's fine. If not, the, the member would likely try to transfer that cost to their campaign account, which is legitimate uh, under state rules and I assume under city rules. And if not, they should pay it back out of their own pocket. We asked the city manager to respond to the audit and whether he has communicated with the former city council members or received any additional accounting information from them. And we have not yet received a response from the city manager. We also reached out to all four city council members. Eric Wilson got back to us and said that he had not yet had an opportunity to review the audit, so he did not want to comment. And we just received a response from Tiffany Young, and she said that her office did purchase tickets from Bahama Beach, the Dallas Zoo, and the aquarium at Fair Park to distribute to summer camps and children youth groups throughout the district as they'd promised them. Also, while in office, her district reserved Southern Skates, a city-owned facility to host events for students in District 7. The vouchers were distributed to students in her district. The other two council members have not yet gotten back to us.